Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. If you guys are new here, I'm doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway here on my channel. I'm giving away a $100 gift card to Torrid once I hit a 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't entered, I will leave the video in the description box below explaining how to enter the giveaway. If you are a new subscriber or an old subscriber, you definitely wanna go ahead and enter. I appreciate all my subscribers and this is a giveaway for you guys. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that we are almost to a thousand subscribers. jump into today's video. So in today's video, we're doing another wig video. This is actually a wig topper that I'm wearing right now that is actually gonna be in one of my newer videos that I'm gonna be putting up. I just went ahead and filmed that video. Get it, guys. This is a clip-in bang from Bellamy Hair. I see all over like on Instagram, people with their like hipster hats and then they're wearing like these clip-in bangs. So I really decided that I wanted bangs, but your girl doesn't have time to cut her hair. My hair is pretty thin in the front. I didn't want to actually have to cut my hair. So why not just go on and see if I can find some clip-in bangs and they exist. So they are the Bellamy Hair. Clip-in bangs, they're not in here obviously. I've already worn them. You've might have seen them on my Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, you should be Amanda Yasmin89 on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me there. Anyways, they are the Bellamy Hair, which is this company, I guess, is like an actually, it's like a big company for like clipping extensions. I don't wear extensions, but it says, ready to turn heads. Bellamy Hair Extension safely enhance your natural locks with high quality, protein rich, 100% Remy human hair that you can use to add length volume and texture. Let me go ahead and show you guys the actual bang. They are actually real human, rummy human hair. And these are the bangs. I don't know if you guys can see them. There we go. They are like a brown. I got it in like the black brown, which I get in all my things because my hair is pretty dark. So this is the black brown and it's real human hair. And then it's like kind of like a China bang, if that's what you want to call it. And then it has like the fringe here on the sides. So let me go ahead and put these bangs on for you guys. So I got these bangs to wear with like my Panama hat. Like the, I call it the hipster hat. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like naturally without like a wig topper. It's like day old hair, so it's like really flat. And I've had that thing on my head, so my head's kind of like a little bit sweaty. But we're going to put on these bangs. So I have a really short like forehead. It's like a three head. I just don't really have like a big forehead. So these are a little bit too long for me. So even like I can definitely put them back on my head more, but you can totally see that they're not real bangs if I do that. So I definitely need to get them actually trimmed, but I can still wear them. I just have to wear like a hat or my hair half up or half down. So I'll show you guys a few different ways that I wear these. I wore them a few times. So this is what it looks like. And then on the back, there are clips. So there's two clips right here, and then there's one right here. And then it's like on this stretchy, like wig kind of material. So it stretches right here. So you can kind of like pull it back on your head. And then this is what it looks like on the front. So what you do is I kind of like measure it how I like it, like with my eyebrows. And I kind of like it like right about there. So then you take the little clips and you clip the wand down. Then you clip the other one. And then like I said, I kind of put them a little bit long at first when I'm clipping them in because then I can pull this right here and pull it back. And then it actually pulls it back. And then this is what it looks like with the bangs. The only thing I can complain about is they are a little bit thin. Like for paying, I think these were $69. So for paying for, you know, $69 for some bangs, I feel like they're a little bit too thin. I feel like they should be like a little bit thicker because sometimes you can see like where my hairline is up here and where the bangs aren't. But overall, I think they're pretty cute. Let me put my side light on. It might make it easier to see. To make it easier? Yeah. Hold on a second. I think that makes it a little, little bit easier for you guys to see what it looks like on me. What do you guys think of these bangs? 
So like I said, and then the only bad thing is, is like I said, I have such a short forehead. Bangs would probably start like right here on your actual head. And as you can see, it goes all the way back here. So it has like a good four inches of space. So you can definitely tell, like I couldn't walk around town with just this. I don't think that's cute. I don't think it would look very cute. So if I really wanted to do it, what I've been doing is taking my actual hair and then leaving out the fringe. So I take my actual hair, just a little bit of it, enough to make like an updo, like a half up and down. And then I take it and then I do like a little messy bun with like bobby pins. And then it looks really cute. And then you can't see like the top piece. It's a little bit messy right now, but that kind of gives you like an idea. And then I just kind of hairspray the top right here of my bang so they stay together. And then that's a pretty cute little hairstyle. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the little bun on top? Don't mind the weird little hair sticking out on the side. So that's one way. This is one way that I've been wearing it with like a little bun on the top of my head. So then it covers up, like I said, that little piece on the top and it totally looks like it could be your bangs. Like it totally matches my hair color and everything. And I think it looks really cute with like the little bit of side fringe. So this is real human hair. So you just straighten the pieces if they like get curly or if you want them to be like a little bit shorter, you can actually like curl them up. But I kind of like them pretty straight. So this is one way that I've been wearing them. And then let me get my Panama hat and show you guys what it looks like with a hat on. This is one of my Panama hats. Look how cute it looks with this hat. I think I look like a hipster. I think I look pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like the China bangs? I feel like it's really cool to try out new styles. And this is a totally a cool way to actually try out bangs without actually having to cut your own hair. So I think it's really awesome. I'm really excited to have these in my hair arsenal so I can change up my hair whenever I want and not actually have to be committed to anything. So there's a, that hat. And then let's try on my brown hat. I don't know. I just think it looks totally cute. If you guys didn't even know that clip and bangs exist or you haven't tried them, you definitely should. I got them, like I said, from Bellamy Hair. I will leave the company down in the description. This isn't sponsored or anything. I ordered them and spent my own money on them, but I just thought they were pretty cool and I thought I would share them with all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post pretty much every day about makeup and plus size fashion. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. And as always remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. Well that's my own hair. Why can I not talk right now? Maybe I'm thirsty. Let me take a break.